Morning guys, this is Mark. Morning coffee right here. Uh, checking on the balcony. Uh, I do have to water plants. Yesterday I posted a video about, you know, quick update what I have over here. Uh, it's still not a lot going on because um, it's August here in South Florida and it's still super hot. But we're going to start getting ready. Today I'm going to make a video about the soil purchase, the fertilizer. And here we have our grape. I picked up this, uh, I believe, this weekend, last weekend at my local store. i never seen it before and I thought it's going to be a great idea just to put it here on the side, put next to those... Uh, those baskets right here and hopefully you can um, climb up and kind of overgrow in this area right here this bucket um, it was in Costco and actually I think it's made for fruits but I just really like it I just gotta I gotta clean the area there on the bottom get this get those spots out of the way but ah uh, so let's start here all right first uh, so I never used this before. I never used uh, Epson company. I never used that before, first time. But you know, I seen uh, on YouTube a lot of people had a success with this. Uh, obviously, it's organic. Um, so you know, and this is a starter for any time you're planting anything or um, you know planting seeds. Uh, supposedly, this is pretty good. And we got four, three, three. Uh, NPK so pretty balanced. That's what I like to see. I like to see those numbers, you know, pretty much stay the same So 433 I'll take it. It's very good uh, And also I got this new soil and that's gonna be also an experiment because This is actually not uh, a potting soil. This is a soil builder and the reason I decided to get it uh, You know first thing it's obviously organic or oh, MRI certified listed but I compare to right. I compare the uh, potting soil from bumper crop, and I I compare it to soil builder, and I noticed that all the ingredients this one had so many more ingredients. Obviously, the biggest worry um, um, is it might not be draining you know water in the pots as good as the potting soil would do that. But I'm definitely you know willing to take the risk. Uh, this one had warming has warm castings, lobster and crab shells, kelp meal, aged bark, dehydrated manure, sponge peat moss, which is awesome, right? Uh, I believe the the potty uh, soil had a, a coco core, uh, composted cow manure, and dolomitic lime. This is probably to make it more acidic. So I compared those two ingredients, and you can guys go and check it out, and really the other bag had probably half of it and did not have a peat moss I, I really enjoy peat moss and did not have most of the stuff so you know i really like it here it says irritates compacted soil improves drainage increases moisture retention all right we'll see we'll give it a try so usually what i do guys on the balcony here I and i usually just put all my soil in this container you know add just a little bit starter just mix it up uh, get going it's still pretty moist once we open up we're probably gonna see it let me get the bigger angle here for you guys see if that works okay there you go that's i think that's a better angle let's see here this one this one oh there you go that's better um all right let me just get this down here wow pretty heavy so it has still has to be pretty moist and we have a guest over here if you can guys see a little lizard yeah south florida you're gonna be able to see all of that here all right let me just put it down actually no let me get this Very moist you know like I said I, I could probably just get some paralyte too uh, 
All right, guys, so here is where the video cut out from. This is actually a, a next day. Uh, unfortunately, the video cut out and I just didn't even know I was talking to myself. The video wasn't recording, so we lost that. So I'm not going to show you the process of, you know, uh, replanting this plant right here, but here it is. Uh, it's in this spot. As you can guys see here, we had we had crazy amount of rain. Uh, everything is pretty much wet. And uh, but here it is. Uh, so I did not know this, guys. But this um, those grapes, the plant was actually uh, all those leaves. It's pretty actually long over here. It was all uh, folded up. So I took the little uh, strap out of it, and then I was able to unfold it, and didn't even realize how long actually the those branches were so you know very excited what i'm gonna do actually is buy a little crate over here on this wall and let it climb it uh you know hopefully the plant does well uh one thing i was <clears throat> trying to say uh in the last part of the video i could have get some paralyte 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 no not paralyte uh the white stuff that they usually add to the potting soil to kind of improve the drainage but you know let's see how it goes i'm i will have to drain the water from this so <clears throat> you know so pot actually loses moisture quicker uh instead of just waiting for for the water to uh, dry out so you know very excited guys very excited for this uh we do have another empty plant plant here actually there's a little secret seed here let me if i can zoom in maybe for you guys all right there you go i actually put i totally forgot but i put a mango seed right here uh what you can do if you if you never done it before never seen it uh, once you eat the mango there is a hard shell inside the peel uh peat inside the the fruit you can just very carefully pop it open with a knife <clears throat> and there's another there's actually actual seed in it and then you can just put it in the ground and if you live in the you know warmer area even inside the kitchen you can do that maybe in the sunny window and it, it can actually grow some people put in the water uh let the root system develop first and then they put in the ground i actually put it you know straight to the ground and i also see no success this one is empty here we we can actually buy some uh i'm probably gonna go to home depot or local local store and get some type of uh lemon tree maybe mayor lemon tree i used to have one for those who've been watching the videos but i did have a a huge uh, infestation and problem uh and you know th this one unfortunately died so but any everything else doing good uh on this little thing you know i added some of the soil with the fertilizer and i can see that actually the ends of it here on the bottom as you can guys see it's pretty much you know drying out but I see a lot of uh, new growth going on here. So, you know, hopefully this thing keeps growing. It's pretty cool. Uh, here, clover, guys, it's still growing. I kind of cover with the soil with the new one that I mixed. I had some leftover, um, you know, here kind of died in the middle because it was pretty much dead. But this one actually, they saw a soil went in between it. And, you know, with the rain, this thing is doing pretty good. So, you know, as I mentioned, it's, it's naturally pumping nitrogen into the soil so let's see if that works this experiment works uh, i'm excited to plant some uh, tomatoes in those pots right here but we'll see what the local no no nursery has and uh, we're definitely gonna pick up some you know maybe uh, dwarf uh, plants and see if we can get it growing so guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye